Hello, welcome to the Experimental Photographer. This episode is in the genre of light painting, electroluminescent wire, or EL wire for short. I've mentioned it in a past episode, and I thought it would make a cool bit for a short vid. Working with the long exposure and EL wire, it's possible to create wispy effects that can resemble flowing water, electricity, smoke, and even fire. If you're new to light painting, or if you've just been curious about trying it, then this is a great technique to get started with. And if you're already light painting and you haven't tried EL wire, then you definitely need to get your hands on some. The technique is really quite simple. You don't have to have artistic hands or to be a genius of spatial awareness. All that is required is a bit of imagination and the curiosity to try different things with it. Well, here is EL wire. You can see it comes in two components. You have the controller and the wire itself. Um, you can buy them as a single unit, which costs around $10 US. And you can also buy them in packs where you get, uh, you know, maybe six colors and it'll give you a couple of controllers. Uh, the wire comes in all the basic colors, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. And connects here, the two pieces connect right there, it snaps together, controller. Takes two AA batteries. And it has several modes. It has continuous on. And then it has a slow blink. And then a faster blink. So, and I have to warn you, this stuff is totally incorrigible. I've yet to find a good way to get it to straighten out. And when it's coiled up, it curls like this and gets stuck on pretty much everything. I use this out in the desert and I run around dragging it on the ground behind me and gets caught on bushes, it gets stuck in rocks, and you know, occasionally I step on it. So, you know, it doesn't last that long <laughs> when you use it like I use it. Assuming that this tube is filled with some sort of neon gas. The wire itself comes in several lengths. Six foot, I believe. Eight foot and maybe ten foot. You know, they all come in handy for different things. Uh, if you're just starting with it, then I would recommend the six foot length. Just to get familiar with it because... It is quite incorrigible, and the six foot length is, uh, you know, it's a little bit easier to manage. The only modification that really needs to be done with this thing is to cover that red light there. And you can try and cover it or hide it with your hand, but somehow it always seems to sneak into the shot. I'm using electrical tape here. Um, normally I don't. I prefer to use the uh, blue tape because this electrical tape will leave residue on the edge of this. But um, this is going to be all up in the picture, so it needs to be dark. Okay, so this technique is actually really quite simple. In order to perform it, basically you just turn the thing on and get it moving. Wiggle it around. Um, I like to get the controller in my hand like this and then give it a good pinch right at this point because the, the thin wires here, the black wires are pretty delicate and they tend to break right at that point so if I grip it right here and it's uh, fairly sturdy because it will get caught on stuff anyway so basically what I do is I whip it around on the ground like this maybe fling it up if I'm trying to make a, a flame effect or if I want to do electricity of course I use blue but I just wiggle it around like that run around um, 
with it behind me. Hoping I don't uh, trip on things while I'm getting around. Or you can drape it on things, kind of wiggle it along like this. You want to create almost a smoke effect. And, uh, or you can twirl it. Let's see here. Twirl it around in circles like that. Kind of make like a mystical porter effect, portal effect. Or you can even wiggle it like this to make a ghostly figure. And there. Just keep in mind, sometimes it's hard. You have to go through the, mo the modes with the uh, button there. And uh, when I get the end of my effect, sometimes I grab it and hide it away from the camera and turn it off real quick. For this demo, I've chosen to use my piano as a subject. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this, but I know I'm going to wiggle around the heel wire inside of here somehow a little bit. And then light the keys in the front. Maybe there'll be a nice reflection. I lock the shutter open. Come over here. Light it just out of the frame. The light blue. Switch the dark blue gel. Give it a nice light right there. Give it a little something inside just to add some color. Grab my yellow wire. Come around back. And since I'm doing this in total darkness, as long as I'm moving myself, you won't see me. All right. Fill this area. Some smoke effect. Done. Walk around. Unlock the shutter. There's the shot. It's nighttime. And here we are, ready to do our live demonstration with a photograph with EL wire. Um, I've taken some test shots, I've made some uh, slight adjustments to my composition, and I've also adjusted the light. EL wire doesn't emit much light, so you have to open the camera up a little more than usual. I have it at ISO 200 at f5.6. And um, I'm gonna I'm going to add one more element to the shot, just to make it more interesting. This is black fiber optic brush, a black fiber optic brush. And you can use it to light things. It's really cool. It's a really cool little uh, tool for light painting. Hopefully get you guys fired up for a future episode where I do uh, black fiber optics. Anyway, what I'm going to do here is I am going to light the keys like this and what it will do is it will make it look like the keys are glowing with this phantom light source. It also makes uh, kind of like a little spider web lines that are pretty interesting. Anyway, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do everything else. The same way that I explained earlier, I'm going to light this side of the keys with blue and get a little bit of blue inside there to make it look a little more interesting. Then I'm going to switch to a light blue, most uh, cool white, my edge light key there. And then come over here to my giant rat's nest of EL wire here. And I'm going to run the wire inside, which will uh, create like a kind of a fire looking effect. Anyway, all right, let's uh, have a go. See what we come up with. Turn the light off. Start my exposure. I'm starting with the uh, black fiber optic brush. Fan it out a little so it makes the light a little more even. Okay. 
excited to show you guys more stuff with this uh, black fiber optic brush because it's pretty cool. All right, and that my dark blue. Going to right in there. All right. side here and just a very subtle edge light on the keys grab the back grab my nail wire get it moving before I turn it on work it around try not to get it stuck get in the corners and then I'll I'm going to keep it moving until I get it all the way turned off. All right, let's end the capture and see what we got. Kind of weird. <laughs> cool. EL wire.